Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to the amazing tales of Spelunky Man in Spelunky. Now, I don't actually think he has a name, and I think I've spoken about this before, but I don't believe he has a name, so I'm just going to call him the Spelunky Guy again. And I thought I'd use him this time for a bit more of a traditional feel, especially since I think every time I use Alexander for the bottom, I just fail at life, apparently. So, well, shit. That's a good start. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to try and do a few things in today's video. We're going to hopefully try and make it as far as possible, as we did last time. I don't think we're going to make it that far, because, well, that was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me, and I fucked it up. I do apologize for being quite blunt in the last video and deleting any of the comments that you guys may have left, but I do wish to remain in the dark about what happens after the Room of Gold. I've done it on purpose up to this point. It's easy, I mean, it's easily available to me if I wish to know, but I have remained in the dark on purpose for you guys so that when you see me get to the Gold Room and past the Gold Room, if ever, that my reactions to what happens afterwards are completely genuine. And I'm sure you guys would prefer that. So, keep the comments to yourself. But, one of the comments I did get that I didn't mind was actually a little advice about what happens, or at least what I get, if I sacrifice two damsels on these sacrificial altars. And apparently I get an item, which sounds pretty good actually. It basically makes me a vampire as such, because when an enemy dies, I don't know if you've noticed it, they occasionally shoot blood. And I mean, I don't think... I think it depends on how you defeat them, but I generally think it does it anyway, even if you just beat them with the whip. And when that happens with this new item, and this is if you sacrifice two damsels in one run, I think it's in one run, uh, it can't be in the same floor unless you have a damsel in one of those shops that has a damsel. Um, you get this item where you can consume the blood of your enemies to heal. Now, in this mod that I played of the original, you could use this kind of ability to overheal yourself, be able to give you more hearts than you originally had. And I'm pretty sure this thing is going to act the same way, which essentially means as long as we're good at killing enemies, which let's face it, I'm not, but... As long as we're good at killing enemies, we can essentially have infinite health. Which would be extremely useful, I'll admit. Just want to check if there's anything above you. Doesn't look it. Jimbo. Jimbo. Your name is Jimbo. It's a pretty good name. Not gonna lie. Uh, though I want as much gold as possible, going in there for that one bit. Definitely not worth it. So, damsel down there. Entrance was there. I want to try and make sure I get everything correct in this run, if I can. Had a practice run a minute ago just to get myself back into playing the game again because... Well, I do want to try and make progress and last video has kind of left a sour taste in my mouth. Because now, if I die anywhere within the caves or even in the area, you know, the second area, the jungle, I kind of feel like... I don't want to post the video anymore because it almost feels like it's a, it's a cop out or something because I'm like, ah, oh, I, I know I can do better than this. I didn't do better there because I just got hit by a skeleton. But, um, I know. It, I know I shouldn't think that way because I know most of you guys enjoy this anyway. And even to the point where you've been arguing with me to try and convince me to continue the series with other objectives and challenges and such. Which, to be honest, I might cons I might consider um, until we kind of all agree that Spelunky run it run it has run its course rather. But uh, I'm more than happy to play this game a bunch because I, since I've begun this let's play, it's not only been so much fun to do it, but it's been the most kind of interactive LP I've done in a long time. Oh, okay, here's a come here, you. And wha-pow! Yeah, climbing gloves! Alright. 
but yeah, it's been really fun to do. I've not grown old of this game at all. And you guys have just been so cooperative and so interesting. I've got, you know, silly little fan arts about woofers. And it's been awesome. So I kind of don't want this run or this series to end. But I do realize that in the end, things do run its course. Man, I feel like all I've been talking about in these late video latest videos is about oh, how the series is going to come to a fuck! Oh dear, that's not good. <laughs> come to an end. I saw that as I was doing what I was doing. So naturally I'm like, shit. Okay, I'm going to have to be on edge for a moment. So you're going to have to bear with me if I do not say a whole lot. And the giant spiders up there too. Oh, look at that. Bounced off the scorpion to get the giant spider. Uh, I'll use a rope to get this. Because it would be nice to get as much gold as possible. Gold? Money? Yeah, same thing, essentially. Oh, alright. I've got climbing gloves. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, that's going to be the death of me one day. That was actually the whole reason why I actually died in the gold room last time. For those who don't know my original intentions, which they weren't that clear when you see it. <clears throat> my original intention was to get the Necronomicon, which I assume which I assume that's what it was. I think it is. Actually, it's a way of me finding out. Uh, let's have a look. I haven't actually showed this yet. Book of the Dead. Guarded by Anubis II in the City of Gold, it opens the entrance to the Underworld. Well, there you go, there's a little hint about what happens after that. I do know about... Really? A gold one in there? I do know about the level which is after the gold room. I just don't know anything about what happens inside it. Nor do I actually know what it looks like. Which is uh, going to be interesting. Oh. But that, yeah, essentially that's the Necronomicon. <laughs> might as well be. Oh, it might have been good that we came this way, because... Oh, no, the key's down there. Wow. That's a big place to put it. Uh, I'm hoping I get a chance to get more bombs. Uh, all right. Really? That's a really annoying place for it to be. Uh, that is quite frustrating, actually. Oh, I, um, I suppose what I could do is if I drop... There we go! That wasn't bad, actually. Hey, and all the gems. Okay, so, I want this. It could be bombs, which is kind of why I want it. Rope. Eh. Would have preferred bombs, but whatever. And let us go this way. I'm not going to risk opening that, just in case something hurts me. Get rid of you. Please be bombs. You're not bombs. I'm angry. Did that shop have any bombs? I'm very, very angry. Alright, no, I not like it. Oh, look at that. Ricochet rock. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh man, if I hadn't have seen that, that'd have been the end. That'd have just been, I would have given up and I'd never played this game again. Nah, that's a lie. I would have done that. Still no damsels though. I'm low on health as well. And we've made it to the jungle. Did I get the Uja Eye? Yeah, I did. The dead are restless, eh? <laughs> oh man, this is not the kind of place I want this. Ah, shit. Oh, that was my last bomb, too. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. No, I failed. Just in general. <coughs> Alright, well, hopefully we're not going to meet Dracula. I mean, that would be cool if I got that item that he gives. But... Oh! Looky here! Alright, look at this. 
this is the way to get to the uh, one place. I don't think... Have I been there? I'm pretty sure I've been there. But I don't know if it was on video. But Oh, well, there's Dracula. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there you go. I'm Mega G Wolf. Thank you for watching. This is probably fairly short. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Hopefully next time we'll go a little bit better. And I'll see you on the next episode. Okay, thanks, bye.